Happy day, friends. Quickly, look at this. <laughs> Is she being silly to you, Lucas? Whoa! <laughs> definitely went through some kind of leap recently. He is, how do you explain it? I feel like until you have kids and see them grow and just things start clicking, it's so hard to explain. But he's so much more interactive now. As you can see, they are clearly like playing, playing, playing together. Not just playing near each other, they're interacting and it is so fun to watch. Back to not looking like I'm 12 weeks pregnant. Now only about eight weeks, maybe six for myself. Um, that was a rough few days uh, feeling like that. If you guys saw the last video, my belly was huge. Really, it just was huge. Kind of on a uh, paper plate kick. <laughs> Whenever we have like a super busy week or somebody is sick, like myself, because I'm the one that kind of makes the house run a little bit smoother, I pull out some paper plates just to make my life a little bit easier. It's about time I feel like I have an appetite again. Did you girls teach him how to bounce a ball? What in the world? Boink. <laughs> you girls are great teachers. Boink. 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 Nice bouncing. Is it done yet? Is what done yet? He's making soup. Oh, the soup. boinking? Yoink. Oh, he's making soup? Yeah, he's making a, he's making something so that she can feel better. Oh well, that's Yoink. a great thing. <laughs> and it's Whoa! Oh, that's awesome, guys. Yoink! 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 <laughs> I'll tell you what, a whole new level Whoa. of like happiness, I guess, joy when you see Yoink. your kids playing Yoink. like this. Austin went golfing this morning just to hit a, a bucket, get out of the house. He's been working so hard lately. And he's gonna be so sad that he was. I'm counting on you. Do not overflow while I am gone, or I will be not a happy gal. I'll do my best. <laughs> you you look straight from the 70s right now. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Got my golfing in this morning. Let's go. You missed the kids playing so sweet together. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, I had a I, great time. I got I got it recorded though. Don't make me regret right. going. Let's go. Okay, we are going to look. We're not going to our friend's house. Our friends used to live over here. We are going to look at the lot that we almost bought. Yeah. And well, I not to say we almost bought it, but we almost didn't buy our current house yeah. because of it. And I am so so glad. Oh, look, here it is. This wood, oh the my framing gosh. for this house has been sitting out here for years. Look how rotted and gross looking it looks. It's all gray. I don't I mean, that's garbage now. They're not going to use that. Oh, no, yeah. That's garbage. But the house is actually being built. Uh, 
what is that called? The foundation? Yeah, that's the foundation. So that would be the garage right there. Yeah. The you want me to pull two into and it? Three. No, <laughs> don't pull into it. I I'm do not kidding. trust this land. We were told by our friends that, like, obviously it's been two years since we've lived in our current house. Yeah. That's how long we'd be waiting if we actually went through with this. So glad we didn't. They said that they had to keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper. The original plans did not work with like the grading or the type of dirt. I don't know. There's some weird thing about some the dirt. Some weird engineering thing. You have to get deep enough. And they had to dig all the way down to the street below. This level of their garage is like the third story. Yeah, so they have a double basement, a double yeah. story basement. Which I would hate. So I'm gonna Not to mention the out. cost. I wouldn't. I'm, oh, I'm definitely gonna. I don't trust this. Uh, what? They've compacted it and built the foundation. Okay. It's solid enough for okay. me to lock. They're gonna build a house on yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Just like with all the houses sliding <gasps> off Look of the Look at this bird. It's gonna attack our car. I'm just so relieved that we didn't actually weight on this because we would not have fallen we had we would not have gone through with this had we waited i'm gonna tell dad babe we need to go we gotta get these kids some food don't worry we're going, Where are we going without him? should we go without him no. oh okay we'll wait for him then Paige just said this is the bestest day ever guess why <gasps> we had a bird at our bird feeder I wonder if it will come back. What do you think? I'm, I'm going to tell Grandpa that. That has been sitting out there for over a month, and we have not seen a single bird on it until right now. It's the best day ever. We just had to be patient, right? That's why being patient is important. You didn't see it? Just barely, like right before it flew away? That's all I saw it, too. But if we just be like quiet and still, maybe he will come back. Here we go again, my guy. Let's see what they say today. Today Lucas has his uh, second neurology appointment and hopefully everything will go just as last time. Nothing really of concern in my opinion, in Austin's opinion, Lucas seems absolutely just fine. Now the main issue is they said he would need another MRI before we get him off of propranolol. I'm not thrilled about, but I do understand why they want to do that, um, so today we might get some info on if we are going to proceed with that or not, or if they think it's still necessary um, or not. So much to be happy for today. Yeah, oh my gosh, did not, hi. I forgot, I forgot to mention real quick. She was saying his blood pressure is a little high. Um, okay, let me pack up my bag and we'll go. A lot of good news today though, I will share in the car because I'm sure they need to get this room ready for someone else. So amazing news from the neurologist today. And I like, so happy to hear this from her. She essentially cleared Lucas. He's given her no reason to want to, number one and most importantly, no reason to want to or need to scan, again, his brain, like no more MRI, anything like that, which I'm so thrilled about. I did not want to have to put him under anesthesia. And so I'm like so relieved to hear that. Number two, she said that he seems to be progressing just fine. Sure, he's not walking yet. Um, everything else seems in line. She said, really, she doesn't feel the need to see him unless we think there might be something wrong or if he's not hitting those milestones. So if he goes much longer without walking or if he is like not progressing in things going forward, but that's kind of up to our discretion. And right now he seems just fine, perfectly healthy, happy boy who's on track with everything. She did warn us um, that we'll wanna get him into a dentist, dentist sooner than later because uh, with face syndrome kids or, or people with face syndrome, tend to have weaker enamel um, in some cases, which is interesting. And she did say that his blood pressure was a little bit high, but we can uh, check that with his primary care physician. Um, they can test his thyroid when the time comes, but she essentially cleared him and no MRI. Before we wean him from his medication, which is honestly best case scenario, like today was a big win. It felt so good to hear everything coming out of her mouth. It feels like we have like 
passed over the hill and we're just coasting at this point and it feels so good. This was his chance. Now I can be a great sorcerer, he said, as he put the hat onto his head. <gasps> Next to some water buckets, an old room stood against the wall. Turn to the fountain. Fill the buckets with water. You don't like when I talk like Mickey? Is it too loud? Okay. Dad. The broom filled the bucket. This Back down to the cellar. Pour room. the water into the well. The apprentice picked up his old buckets and tried to sneak away. But the sorcerer took up the broom and whack! Swatted the apprentice on the bottom. Well, that's not really nice. Mm -hmm. The apprentice scurried off to do his work. He had learned his lesson. Never start something that you don't know how to finish. I don't know, I don't think it's very nice to hit people with brooms. I think Next you should start finish. many things even if you don't know how to finish them because that's how you learn. Oh, that's what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about hitting with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna give me snake burn. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Do what? It's 11.30. I should have been in bed an hour and a I half I thought ago. we were going to watch one episode and you kept saying, next. I know. It was next. just, they weren't next. the happiest ones. I next. needed something to laugh yeah. about before bed. and mm. I can make you laugh. Just not finding but it. Apparently mm -hmm. I can't do the job tonight. You're just not very funny today. Freaking hilarious. Always. <laughs> See? I just laugh. Got more than this. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. We're calling it. We will see you next time. Bye, friends. Love you.